Hi, this is Raheem Zulfika Ali. So in this video, we will learn that how to correct the dates and use the locale settings. So let's get started. So I will go to get data and I will click on Excel workbook. So we have this topic, which is PQ3 fixing dates and date locale settings. So in this folder, we have a file and that is CSV file. So for that, we will choose here all files. Now we can see that CSV file has been appeared, locale settings date. So I will click on open and it will take few seconds to read at the back end. So now you can see locale date settings, a window. And this is because a CSV file, so it has a different kind of preview. Uh, we have uh, four top rows which are not relevant. So we will remove top four rows from this data set and we will make this fifth row as our headers because as you can see that the headers are coming like column one, two, three, four, five, which is not relevant. And we also don't want column four and five because these are blank as well. Also, if you can observe that the dates are not in the correct format because in the US standard, uh, we generally use the slash date format, which are uh, month at the beginning, day at the center and year at the last, but here is a vice versa. This kind of issues occurs when you have uh, a different regional locale uh, files uh, when you receive that and you do uh, date formatting for that. So these kind of issues occurs. Uh, some of the multinational companies which are working in Asian countries as well as in the European or other regional countries, they have a, they have different kind of dates format sets. So you will find this particular thing uh, even, even in that kind of scenario. So let's uh, click on the transform data to get into the Power Query Editor directly. And it will open a new window. So this is the Power Query Editor. So first, uh, we will remove top four rows for doing that. Uh, in the Home tab, you can see Remove Rows Options and I will click on Remove Top Rows from this menu. So a small window is now pop up and uh, how many number of rows we want to remove. So we will write a number here that is four and click on OK. So all those rows are removed. We don't need column four and five, so we will select column four first and then press the control key and left mouse key right click and in this contextual menu click on remove columns now we want to uh, make this first raw of our data set as a column headers so we have that feature available in the home tab you can see used first row as headers so i will just click on that and my first row become as a header the next thing is that we want to correct the date format so if primarily you are using either you are using Microsoft Excel or even Power BI, you know that whenever a user enters a date in a cell, it goes to the right side. It's always a right alignment of the date. But here, all the dates are coming on the left side, which, are, which is not the correct format. So as a Power Query user, uh, we have a different data types available. We can set different data types for each of the column. And uh, each of the data type, uh, you can see uh, in on every column header on the left side, you will see a small icon, sometimes a small ABC icon or sometimes a small one, two, three icon. This is a, a format which, which which we can set for every kind of a column. So I will click on this small button and you can see a contextual menu here, which we, where we have a different kind of uh, formats available for each of the column. So here, what we are required to do is, for example, if you want to correct the date format and if I just click on the date here, and I will press the replace current. So it will give me an error because it's an issue for the locale setting. So I will again undo this step. I will go to this applied steps area and I will just click on this cross icon so that I can remove the previous step. Now what I am required to do is I will just click again on this small icon and I will go to using locale. And this will pop up a window here change the type with locale and in the data type I will select the date. So from this uh, menu I will go to English Pakistan and uh, here it is okay. So I have selected in the date type date and locale English Pakistan and I will press OK. So now you can see that our date formats are properly are coming. And uh, this is how we can change the locale settings and correct the date format as with respect to our country. Okay. Once you have corrected all the uh, steps for the regarding the data transformation, you know that uh, Power Query uh, generates the M language on the backend. So you can see that in the advanced editor. 
so this is the window where you can see the m language code right so once you are done with the transformation you can just click on close and apply and it will ready in the power bi thank you